One of the ways we, we, we help to wire the neurons for the analytical thinking is we have two projects that the students execute in teams in the shop. They, they build simple wooden models of two types. This is called a kinematic coupling, which you'll learn about in the class, which very, very simple, even in wood, will repeat to the micron level. And where is this used? Here is a big industrial version of the thing. This has a load capacity over 20,000 pounds and repeats on the submicron level, used for some very sp special projects that we won't talk about. Um, but very, very low cost and extraordinarily high repeatability and stiffness. Is, you can't get anything stiffer. We also, uh, on the linear type machines, the other project the students execute is what looks like a classic boxway slide system for a machine. And we teach fundamental principles without any math. You can look at things, analyze what's called the structural loop. What are the critical proportions for good performance? So for example, this slider is only this long, and it comes in the system. But when you push on it, it doesn't slide so well. I'm actually pushing really hard to get it to move. This is your common kitchen drawer jamming problem. So everybody has seen this. Exactly. Now, if you take the slider of at least the proper proportions and you put it in, Whee. and when does it stick or not based on tolerances? So here, it, the proportions are good, but the, the sticking is because of the tolerances. We've actually sized it so it will stick. The other one of also good proportions, this is the golden rectangle, which has the proper clearances. It just slides effortlessly. So this learning to feel what we, the analysis of the course, we believe is the key to developing a true understanding of, ah, that's what's going on.